Hi, this is DreamTube, and today what I'm going to talk about is a program that not a lot of people know. It's called Flame Painter, and it's a free program online. You can actually create designs online and save them. Uh, you can save your design. What it happens if when you hit the save button right here, it opens up another window and you can save the imagery. I believe the limitation for online versus buying the, the actual program is that the resolution is pretty limited online versus the uh, the program where it has a much better resolution. I I personally use Flame Painter in conjunction with Photoshop imagery. It creates cool little light streaks. I'll show you, I'll walk you through kind of an example of of what I'm talking about, but there's literally thousands of different combinations and you can use it in all all sorts of ways so let me just walk you through uh, my program that I purchased and I'll, I'll show you a quick little demonstration of how you can use flame painter with your existing images to get it more pop or more of that designer feel anytime I create these types of imagery imagery I get tons of comments and I get lots of requests of, of tutorials on how to do this um, so I'd rather just show you what I use personally for that type of effect so I'm going to show you a quick example a kind of a tutorial of how to use flame painter and how to integrate it with with Photoshop imagery so here's flame painter the program and uh, you can use solid colors or you can use gradients. If I were to choose uh, a solid color, it, it does uh, pretty much a, the same color in a different, uh, you know, it's its own little, I mean, shades of, of that same color is kind of the color family. Um, I actually kind of like that. <laughs> but um, I, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, a gradient. And I'm, you can choose your gradients. I'm going to leave it like that, actually. So I'm going to leave it a gradient, and I'm going to create a... Okay, I'm a little ahead of myself. When you create a new document, make sure that this transparent background box is checked. Checked. I believe it's not checked by default, but it remembers my settings. So make sure this is checked. The reason why you want it checked is because when you export it from Flay Painter, you want the background to to be transparent so you're not you don't have to mess with layer layer effects or anything like that uh, layer styles or anything like that so make sure this is checked hit OK and go ahead and start drawing um, I'm gonna use a a drawing that I feel is gonna work for my particular image Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and stick with that one, even though it's probably not the best. But I'll show you what I'm doing. When you export it, make sure that it's uh, PNG, and you have these two checked: the transparent background and the straight alpha. If you leave that, I believe by default that one's not checked. Um, but when you export it with this it just comes I mean you only get certain streaks to show up which is really weird but when you have that checked all of this color design shows up like all these little light uh, shades come up so I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna save it um, with that default name and then I'm gonna open up Photoshop now I already have an image here and I am going to import the artwork. Okay. So as you can see, now that I, because I chose a transparent image, I can easily drag it into my existing uh, design. So I'm going to select, I'm going to move this design on top of my imagery. And already, 
you're getting kind of a, a dramatic effect. Um, you can go ahead and, and make it a little more uh, 3D or a little more, um, make it kind of blend in with the image. Uh, you can use a little bit of a blur effect. I'm not going to get into all that, but uh, I guess I will kind of play with this a little bit and show you how to uh, kind of mesh with the original image. So with this, with this streak selected, I use, um, I'll just go ahead and use the eraser tool. And I'll erase this part right in here um, to, make, to make it look like the streak is actually going behind um, going behind this this bottle. like so. And you can use different things like blurs. You can blur this out a little bit to make it look like it's it's in the distance. But as you can see, it is a pretty, pretty effective way to add streaks with your imagery. Uh, I guarantee this, if I were to put this up, people would ask me, how the hell did you do that? Like, what, what plugin did you use? Whatever. No, it's just Flame Painter. And there's literally thousands of, of different settings that you could use. You can change your gradients. Um, you can change your gradients uh, and um, you can change the size, the, the center, the focus, the noise, uh, and so forth. So anyway, that's kind of a quick rundown of the program Flame Painter. I think I think you'll really like it. Uh, don't overuse it, but it's, it's a very effective um, way to add light streaks to your uh, photography. Thanks. Uh, if you like this, and I'm going to come up with uh, a lot more uh, cool tutorials on via via Flash and via Photoshop, uh, so go ahead and subscribe, and uh, you'll get up to date with everything that I'm doing. Thanks a lot.